So everybody knows what DeepC AI is. This is from China. We don't trust China. We don't want our data to go to China. We don't want our privacy exposed to Chinese CCP or whatever. Here is the solution. It's not that difficult, guys. Within a few minutes, you will be able to install the DeepC R1 model with Olama LLM on your own computer. Anything LLM is an easy way to do the UI and you don't need to do all the Docker installation and open web UI. It's so easy. Please watch to the end. I will show you how to do step by step. Anyone can enjoy installing the DeepSeat R1 model in your local computer. You can use it securely. You can use it for free. Let's do it now. All right, so here's how we're going to do this. The game plan is number one, you let's install Olama LRM. It's for free. Install DeepSeat R1 model from command prompt. Then finally, I mean, you can stop right here, but if you want a good UI, we can install the anything LLM. Again, it's for free so that you don't need to set up the Docker or anything with the open web UI. There are many, many uh, videos out there showing install and configure Docker virtual environment and things like that could be a little bit involved. So this is a, the, the easiest step that you're going to do anything LLM for your UI. Okay, first we need to download the Olama. Just go directly to olama.com. I will give you the link in the description box. Based on your operating system, you can go to Mac OS, Linux, or Windows. I'm a Windows user, so I'm going to download the Windows. Click on Download for Windows button and go for it. Now you're going to have a downloaded Olama setup.exe. Just double click on it and verify download file. Now after you download, go to your download folder and look for this olama setup.exe and you can double click and run it okay let's get you up and running with olama blah 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 install click install it's based on your network it's gonna take a few minutes okay after you download the olama you just go to command prompt by going to the search window search cmd so you go click on the command prompt and let's check the Olama version. Just type O-L-A-M-A -A space dash dash version. This is just to confirm that you install Olama correctly and see the latest version you install. Next, we need to install the deep sea version. So let's go to Olama explore model so basically you got to go to olama.com slash search and the deep sea is uh, if you click on the models deep sea is showing up at the top you click on deep sea i uh, want and you got different choices okay those are the parameters that one from 1.5 billions to the largest is 671 billion parameters train so depend on the size, you need more hard drive, you need more space, you need more. Okay, looks 1.5 billion parameter, you need 1.1 gig and 7, 4.7 gig. So you're going to take time to download and you need a lot of processing power and depend on how much GPU, CPU you have on the computer. For most uh, people, 7 billion. It's a sweet spot, so I'm gonna download the 7 billion parameter uh, by default. I select 7 billion. To select this, we're gonna copy this command Olama run deep seat R17B for 7 billion parameters train model. You can copy it, then go back to the command prompt. Let's go back to command prompt and paste. If you run this, it will automatically download and run the DC R1 model with the 7 billion parameters. It's depend on your network. It's gonna take some time, okay? It's gonna be 4.7 gigabyte uh, to download. It will take some time. Okay, now we have installed the DeepSea R1. Let's test it. Who are you? So we're gonna say, hi, who are you? Okay, I'm a DeepSea R1 artificial intelligence assistant created by DeepSea. I'm a geo service, blah, blah, blah. So calculate two plus three. So it's thinking, calculate the sum of two or three, I need to add two number together, adding two and three, give me a lot, the total of five. Correct. Therefore, the final answer is five. Okay, my computer is like going crazy. All right, the next step is go to Google 
search engine, type in anything LLM and the search result will come. The first one, anything LLM, click on it. And this is the UI we want to download for our interface. Okay, now click on download the desktop. Depending on the operating system again, you can have Mac or Windows or Linux. For me, it's Windows and download for Windows 64. Okay, when you download it, you might run into the problem like this one, like download unverified files. Just click on download unverified file. When you're done, and then click on more info and run anyway, because Windows Defender try to protect you from downloading any EXEs. I think that's why. Just click on run anyway. So we want to install it. And it's just for me, not for everyone, just for me testing. Next, you can change the location or install. I just keep it default and install. Okay, again, this depends on the network connection. It will take a few minutes. Okay, now finally get installed and let's run it. Okay, now it's loading anything LLM. Okay, we want to get started. We're looking for the LLM preferences. We need to look at for Olama. Olama LLM, run LLM locally on your own machine. So select this one and run. Okay, one thing we need to know that, oh, we need to run the latest 7B. The one that we installed is 7B. If you have a 1.5 billions or any version, you should pop up in here and drop down and select this one and run Olama locally. Then do next. We can skip the survey workspace. For now, I'm just typed Simon workspace just for testing. And next. Okay, now we have workspace. Okay, now Simon workspace. Now it is just like ChatGPT user interface without doing anything. You get everything for free. We got Olama, we got DCR1, 7 billion parameters, train model. Now we're gonna say, who are you and what? Can you do it? Will do the deep thinking, the chain of thought, and reasoning just like using your deep seek. And you can ask anything you want. Again, this is based on the 7 billion parameters train deep seek R1 model. Here's the answer. So, another thing you can do is you can customize your UI theme. For example, we have a light theme, the white background, so we can do the dark one, English, or oh. Burmese, Chinese, whatever language you want to set up and go back. And now is the UI is this. What is two plus three? We're going to ask simple question and it's start thinking. 